is going on home studio addicts joel here from the home recording network today just showing you what interfaces i use to record in my home studio so i know a lot of people out there always wonder what they should get when they're starting out or maybe once they get into it more what should they upgrade to so i'm just going to show you today what i use and basically why so here is my beautiful rack i know it's not much to look at and there's a few pieces of equipment in here but i really only use one maybe two of these while i'm recording so up at the top here is a cheap compressor and eq which i do not use below that's the acp 88 which is oh that's sandy jumping in the picture right there so this one below here is the ACP88, which is an eight channel compressor and gate. Don't use that anymore. And then below that is my number one device. And this is the Universal Audio Apollo 8P. It's got eight preamps in the back. And that is my, my main guy most of the time when I'm recording. Now I do have this digimax below it. it's a personas digimax and this is a real cheap interface uh, that i use when i need to record more than eight tracks at a time so not very often usually when i'm recording drums or something like that and then below that are these personas fire studio projects which were my first interfaces ever i haven't used these in a long time time but so mainly the the main thing i'm using is this apollo device and i'll show you why i chose that there's a lot of great interfaces out there you know focus rights and whatnot uh, but this guy i landed on because of a few different things so this console right here is why i landed on the universal audio apollo device when I was looking to upgrade from my older Personas devices, which didn't necessarily sound bad, I was looking for something a bit more professional, something where I could have control when I was recording, you know, during this recording process. So I was looking at analog compressors, EQs, channel strips, you name it. And what I found out is these expenses were going to add up so quickly. So for every chain I had, let's say I had an analog channel strip going into a compressor that would ultimately need to go into an interface to get into my DAW. So let's say I wanted to record eight tracks at a time. I was going to need a compressor for each channel, an EQ or a channel strip for each channel. And then I was ultimately going to need an eight channel interface to get into the DAW. So these expenses were just not going to happen. It just wasn't affordable for me. But then I ended up finding UAD and their solution has everything I wanted in one interface. So first of all, UAD plugins are the best out there. They're also the most expensive, probably three, four times what you would pay for another plugin from Waves or, or whatnot. And what's great about them is you can use them while you're recording. So right now I'm talking to you on this channel one and I have the SSL channel strip on here and I'm just using the gate on this. So when I stop talking, you do not hear any other sounds in the room. So it, it's, it's great for this purpose, but also when I'm recording any other instrument, I have the use of all my UAD plugins to EQ, compress, whatever I want while I'm recording. And the reason that's important is because if you are EQing and compressing while you're recording and the track is already sounding great, once it gets into your DAW, you have much less work to do when it comes time for mixing. This also helps so much when I'm recording clients because when I record them, their stuff is already sounding great. And this means that if you have great sounding tracks, it inspires them to play even better. So if they're recording their guitar over great sounding drums, that's gonna inspire great results. If they're recording their guitar over crappy sounding drums, 
you know, that might not inspire them so much. These plugins are also modeled so well after the analog gear that they come from. So my typical vocal chain would be a Neve preamp. You throw a Neve preamp on there for some warmth, and then maybe you throw on an 1176 all the way down here. And your vocal is EQ'd nicely, compressed, it's, it's sounding great right off the bat. There's not going to be as much work to do when it comes time for mixing. So, yeah, a uh, interface like this might cost you more than a normal interface, but you totally get a great bang for your buck here. And I can say that this has improved my recordings tremendously because I'm not always working to fix things in the mixing stage as much anymore. So I would highly recommend something like this if you're looking to upgrade. Um, but that being said, you can still make great sounding music with even the old Personas uh, interfaces that I have in my rack. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.